Hi, it's Margaret Sakanet and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at the 12 animal signs and their outlook for 2022. And today we're actually looking at the dragon. So uh, these are predictions based on stars. And uh, let's take a look at the dragon. So for anyone born in this year, the, the years that you're seeing on the slide, you are born in the year of the dragon. So learn who you are and reflect on your past achievements. That's what this, uh, this year has in store for you. So be aware of what's ahead and the challenges, challenges you'll be facing. Uh, keeping an open mind and, uh, you know, when you're doing your decision or when you're making a decision, uh, you know, it's better not to rush, uh, rush making them. No? So again, do not rush on your decisions. So this is also a year of uh, spiritual growth uh, to make breakthroughs. You have to look inward. So let's take a look at uh, some of this aspect, these four aspects, uh, health, wealth, career, and relationship. So let's take a uh, health. What does uh, health in 2022 look like for you? So you need to probably maintain a well-balanced diet and quality rest to ward off maybe some of the old illnesses that you have. You know, um, drink lots of water and be hydrated. Again, as in uh, any, you know, uh, any of my uh, advices, uh, since we're actually, a lot of us are actually working from home, there's of course a tendency to just visit the kitchen or the fridge as they are very easily accessible. So let's just uh, be a little bit more careful about our food intake and watch our diet. So what about the wealth aspect for the dragons this year? Now it's actually favorable for business owners as it is a good time to invest in your business, put the cash back into your business as, the, uh, as they say. Um, there will be probably unexpected gains and windfalls in investment, but be sure to strike a balance and not be greedy. So when you have uh, you know, a, a steady stream of cash flow, then make sure that uh, everything is on the even keel and, uh, you know, and uh, maintain a bit of balance, okay? So maybe even try to save for a rainy day. So what about career aspect? So in terms of career, there are good job opportunities for those of you who are looking for work and uh, pay uh, probably increases uh, as, oh, as well. So, but you need to consider what your options are and uh, you know, um, when you're trying to, uh, how do you call this, look for your work or when you're trying to select what type of work that you're actually uh, looking for or you're looking at and uh, not to be shortchanged, okay? So what about relationship? Um, there's a chance of meeting someone, but uh, might not happen this year for those who are single. And for those who are married, life might not be so great because of how busy you can get. So if you get too busy, you know, for you, you know, it is suggested that you spend some quality time with your partner and not forget that uh, there's a family and there's a relationship somewhere. Okay. Now, for those of you uh, who are interested in what the year lies ahead, what are the flying star energies of each sector of your home, um, do get a copy of our 2022 annual Feng Shui calendar for the flying star Feng Shui forecast. Of the year of the water tiger so not only will it have information on the good and bad sectors of each area of your home but also a date selection chart of each month which you can actually plan and select the best dates for your important events in 2022 so just go to my website for more details and to get your own copy pdf copy of our 2022 feng shui calendar so you know, for those of you waiting for the other animal signs, you know, uh, it's coming up. You know, I would just like to thank you for joining me today. And, uh, you know, so it's Margaret saying bye-bye for now.